Hey everybody, Chad here from Far Beyond Snoopy, and it's time for another non-alcoholic beer review. And today we're checking out a, uh, a Big Drop Brewing Company product, and this is their Paradiso IPA. So I'll go ahead and pour this up real quick, and we'll kick this thing off. Pretty decent pour on that, good amount of carbonation, decent little head there too. So, cheers. Alright, and I'll show you this can real quick. Um, pretty cool looking can. I like the, the, the green and the um, lighter green color. Kind of like a forest green and then kind of like a, a like a lighter color green. I don't know, like a lime. Almost a yellow. I don't know what you call that. So this is my first beer of theirs uh, that I've checked out. They were actually founded in um, London. I was looking online to kind of learn more about them. Um, they launched in 2016 and then had a U.S. debut in 2021, this year. And they apparently brew their more popular ones in Chicago. Now, I had never had this before, but uh, not too long ago, they actually put up a contest on Instagram and uh, were asking people to, to submit. Um, yeah, I think you had to comment on there or something like that. And surprisingly, I actually won. I was very excited. I never win anything. I have like the worst luck with contests and lotteries and raffles and casinos. I just don't have very good luck. So I had to give them a little shout out. I was pretty excited to, uh, to actually win something. And this apparently won an award. World Beer Awards 2020 United Kingdom winner. Now, as far as their description for this one, I pulled from their website, it says, this IPA radiates citrus fruit from the moment you pour it to the second you finish that last sip with a satisfied sigh. The bright, sharp twist of bitterness on the end makes you want to dive back in for one more. Um, so we're talking about, of course, a 12 ounce can, um, ABV less than 0.5. IBU I found um, online, I think on their website, says 42. So pretty decent, pretty substantial. Ugh, I like this though, this is good stuff. Not just because I want it. I was planning on buying this anyway. <laughs> Pretty nice hoppy aroma to it. A little bit of that malty presence. Some citrusy notes in the aroma. Um, lemon, grapefruit, a little bit of pine. Pretty decent. Um, the color I just showed you a second ago, kind of a pale golden color. Semi-hazy, not too hazy, but kind of a semi-hazy color to it. Um, it is a little bit lighter though in the mouth. It's not really thin, not too watery, but I would say it's below a medium in terms of the body and how it feels in the mouth. Really good taste though. I mean, the flavor on this is great. Probably one of the better non-alcoholic IPAs I've had. So I get some citrus right up front. Grapefruit comes through clear. Um, kind of some of that lemon, maybe a little orange zest. Does have a mild bitterness to it. Uh, not overly bitter, but it does have kind of a nice mild bitterness to it. Kind of a light, like grain flavor, a little malty. Do pick up some notes of pine in there. And then a pretty clean finish. I mean, it's not super crisp. This one has more of that smooth finish that I like with a, with a good IPA. Nice aftertaste though. That grapefruit kicks around, so does the pine. Has a really nice um, aftertaste after that smooth finish. Hmm. Pretty good. Okay, let's check out my rating on this one. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. All right, so the Paradiso IPA, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Pretty tasty little beer. Um, as far as non-alcoholic IPAs go, this is one of the better ones I've had. Um, great flavor, nice presence, nice body. I love all the components and the taste kicking around. It's got a really good mix to it, a really good balance. Um, so this is one I enjoy. I would definitely buy some more of this. Um, I've got, I, th I think I won two six packs and I've got like four cans left. So um, I, I will probably grab some more after I, uh, after I finish this one out. But yeah, pretty tasty beer. So if you like non-alcoholic IPAs, definitely check this one out. I'm curious now to try some of their other stuff now that I know like how good their quality is. So yeah, that wraps it up for me guys. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, it's been Chad from Far Beyond Snoopy, and this has been another non-alcoholic beer review. And of course, cheers.